Hi everyone, how was my last tutorial part in which I introduced some occasions in the German language? Now before watching this part, please do have a look at my previous tutorial in which I introduced the perfect tense in the German language. So moving on. So another occasion which can be celebrated is the Geburt, which is the birth of a child, to which again the two common expressions that are used are these. So, alles Gute so Geburt, all the best for the birth, or alles Gute zum Baby Sohn, all the best for the baby son, or alles Gute zum Baby Tochter, all the best for the baby if it is a daughter. Herzlichen Glückwunsch zur Geburt or Herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Baby Sohn or zum Baby Tochter. Hearty congratulations. So, wishing somebody from the heart is how we say in German, Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Now, the sentences, like in the previous tutorial part, will show the present tense and the perfect tense. These sentences are using the verb Nehmen, which I covered in my tutorial about travel and travel related vocabulary and grammar. Nehmen to take, which is an irregular verb in the German language. Maya nimmt vor der Geburt ein Taxi zum Krankenhaus. So the sentence is once again like the previous tutorial part showing the positioning of time related adverbs or words in general then a thing or a person and then the place. So the prepositions that I'm using here, nach you have seen being used before countries. We use nach before a country when we are talking about traveling to that country. But when nach comes in other situations, it can have other meanings. Maya is taking a taxi to the hospital before the birth of the child. So there is a new preposition for which means before and there is a new word which is a neutral noun so it has the article das das krankenhaus is the hospital now there is a way to remember this compound noun this noun is made up of two nouns. Die Kranke 
and das Haus. The kranke are the sick patients or the sick people and das Haus is the house. So the house where the sick people are treated is the hospital. Then putting this in the perfect tense, the sentence becomes Maya hat nach der Geburt ihr Baby von der Krankenschwester genommen. Nehmen makes use of the Helping verb haben in the right conjugated form, of course. Maya has taken her baby from the female nurse after the birth. Now this word, Krankenschwester, I have mentioned in the beginning of my tutorials in tutorial 7 in which I mentioned the professions in the German language. Revising it again, die Krankenschwester is the female nurse. Again, this is a compound noun. made up of the Kranke, which are the sick people, and the Schwester, which is the sister. So the sister which takes care of the sick people becomes the female nurse. The male nurse is der Krankenpfleger. Again, the noun is made up of die Kranke and der Pfleger, the caretaker of the sick people. Not only are the prepositions for and nach Using the dative case because it is de kaput and the article changes to der, but also the preposition von, from in English, is a dative preposition. So after this preposition, any noun will come in the dative case. And the dative case also I've covered in detail in my previous tutorials. Moving on, another occasion to celebrate is when you get a new job. Their job, the word has been taken from English and is used in German also but has the article dear, so it is a masculine noun. And adjectives in German have the ending depending on the gender of the noun that follows after the adjective. But for the time being, you don't need to remember this because this will come in my later tutorials. Neue Job or Neue Arbeitsplatz, New Workplace. Die Arbeit is the work, der Platz is the place. And the compound noun 
if you remember from my previous tutorials, will always have the article which will be the article of the last noun in the compound noun. So it will be dear arbeits platz. So congratulating somebody on getting a new job or a new workplace would be herzlichen Glückwunsch zum neuen Job or zum neuen Arbeitsplatz or simply herzlichen Glückwunsch you can say also or you can even use another word which is the same meaning as congratulation so gratulation zum neuen job or zum neuen arbeitsplatz again simply gratulation would be also enough having congratulated this person and I call this person Adrian, for example, this man. He is now planning to invite friends to a party. So to invite is a verb that I did not cover in my previous tutorials. It is ein laden. Not only is ein laden an irregular German verb because as you can see here in the first three personal pronoun conjugations these are irregular conjugations but also this is a verb which comes under the category of separable verbs that I have covered in my previous tutorial. So, I invite ich lade ein. You do lädst ein. He, she, er, sie lädt ein. Adrian lädt heute Freunde zu Hause ein. Adrian is inviting today friends at home. Sie tanzen, singen und trinken. By sie I mean they are dancing, singing and drinking. Now, in the perfect tense, all these verbs here make use of the helping verb haben. So, the sentences will be Adrian hat gestern Freunde zu Hause eingeladen. Adrian has invited friends at home yesterday. Also, I did not mention in my previous tutorials when I showed the perfect tense that separable verbs in the German language can have sein or haben as the helping verbs here in the right conjugated forms but the separable verbs will be like this so the ge will be between this word and between the main part of the verb laden so this is how the other separable verbs will also be z haben getanzt, 
gesungen und getrunken. They have danced, sung and drunk. That was all for today. Any questions related to this whole tutorial, you can ask in the comment section. I hope you like my videos and do continue watching the tutorials. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel German Tutorials for Beginners and share the channel's name, link and my username German by Rabia with your friends. Thank you.